Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records, uh, coming at you with another video. Now, I know I've been doing a lot of Zeppelin unboxings, but this is like huge. Uh, huge shout out. Uh, nice guy, I don't know if he wants me to share his name, but a really nice fella reached out to me. He knew that I love Zeppelin and he said, you know, I've been looking for somebody to, to sell this to and you seem like a really nice person and you like Zeppelin and I think it should go to you. And so he was so nice about it, gave me a great deal on it, and it's something I've always wanted. So let's open it up. I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video what this is, but I have never seen one of these in person. I've seen pictures. So. So this is it, the Led Zeppelin infamous road case. Still has the protective film on the cover. But what this is, if you've never seen it before, this is an audiophile Zeppelin set, complete Zeppelin set of all their records. The best sounding copy of any Zeppelin album is just the regular classic record pressing, which is what I have. I have all of them. But anyways, now I have this. This will be 45 RPM. Uh, 200 gram it's supposed to be the best listening experience but it has housed in this insane road case um just look at it beautiful it's got these tabs um so it starts but like uh physical graffiti is eight discs um it's just beautiful so let, i'm gonna get into it listen to it and then i'll let you know how it sounds and if it's worth the hype all right guys we're back so it has been a couple weeks since i did the unboxing video really wanted to be able to take it in uh, and listen to the whole thing and so it took me a couple weeks because first first of all i wanted to listen to it with nothing else going on intentional listening just me in the room best seat in the house which and then i had to do it like in the middle of the day when everyone was awake so um I didn't wake anybody up because I wanted to be able to turn it up as loud as I wanted to. So when I got the box set and opened it up, um, it's just it, it's just overwhelming when you get it. It's just amazing. But I'll try to explain it uh, so you'll know what it's like. I always kind of wondered exactly like the ins and outs. Like it's this mythical thing that I imagine in my head. But I want to show you guys a really in close up, in depth look. But so this is the case itself. It's 48 LPs total. So you have every Led Zeppelin record, uh, every official release, including Song Remains the Same, which is really cool. Um, this kind of opens up. It's in this road case. It's 48 LPs, 44 pounds. This rascal is heavy. Finding a hard time, having a hard time finding a good spot for it. I've got a place on top of my shelves that I was sitting it up on, but it's so freaking heavy to pull down. Scared I'm gonna drop it and shatter it, and that would just my, my whole life would shatter. But um, this is a plexiglass in the front, so you see, it's like you could probably legitimately take this rascal on a plane if you want to. But uh, this plexiglass in the front, it just shows whatever record you could put whatever you wanted right there if you wanted to put you know Zeppelin two or three or whatever. But you got all these tabs here that um, tell you you know which album you're at and. Every album, uh, so it's they are 45 RPM, 200 gram on super vinyl, single sided, um, and you know it's just the the fanciest possible way to do it. Um, but I will say, what you know, what you guys want to know is, is it worth it? Uh, is it worth all the hype? Does it live up to it? Like, let's say you got the regular classic records pressings. Because 
my go-to spin on Zeppelin is the classic records pressings. I've got most of them. I'm missing a couple, but I got most of them. Uh, and so I thought, well, do I really need this thing or just kind of really want it? You know what I mean? Uh, I, when I got it, I texted a picture to Chad Kassam. He He's the owner of Analog Productions, Acoustic Sounds, uh, and just said, hey, dude, check, check it out, what I got. And he immediately called me, and he was like, man, you got to listen to uh, How Many More Times. That song is great. And he started like listing off like some of his favorite tracks uh, to listen to on here. Um, and he was telling me kind of about when it came out. So when it came out, it came out in 2007. Um, and he, he said he was there when they came in. So he was always really close with um, the guy that ran Classic Records. And eventually he bought Classic Records from him. And so uh, Analog Productions owns Classic Records now. But uh, so he said he remembered bringing them in and that there was a couple pallets of them but they were only they were so huge and expensive to make they only made 600 so there's 600 of these box sets floating around which might seem like a lot but it's really not that's pretty rare for something like this so um so you know yeah you see the classic records logo right there but but yeah i mean it uh he said it was a huge undertaking to build um all of these and to press them all and but back then they cost 750 dollars uh, which is kind of interesting, but so he t he kind of gave me you know a, a good little history of them, and I was very appreciative of that. Super nice guy. But um, over the next two weeks, I was listening to him, blown away by uh, a friend of mine, Dom. Uh, he's been in some of my videos. He works at the shop from time to time. He's a professional drummer, and he came over and he wanted to hear it. And I threw on uh, when the levee breaks, um, and it dude the drums on the beginning of that was just mind blowing but like it picks up every little nuance i mean even though i've listened to these records a thousand times at least each growing up Led Zeppelin's been my favorite band hands down every at least a couple times a year i, I make sure to listen to all the zeppelin albums in order you know i love Led Zeppelin really nostalgic for me but also like you know, as I get older, there's certain things I really appreciate about their music and and all that. So I won't go into it. I'll you know tell tell you too much of a love story, but love Led Zeppelin. And with this set, it's like you hear these little things you've never heard before um, on any of the other records, and even like even the classic record pressings that I have, they're the regular ones. So th that's my go-to. A copy of any Led Zeppelin record um, is the classic record pressing, with the exception of the Zeppelin 2 RL, which is really good. Uh, the classic records pressing is good and just in a different way. Depends on how you want to hear it, you know what I mean? So, like with Led Zeppelin 2, you got the RL's killer, the MoFi's killer, the classic records pressing is better than the MoFi. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. So, my go to listen if I want to hear it clean, perfect, really strong I go to the classic records pressings they're phenomenal best that most people probably could ever hear um, and right before I got this I listened to a bunch of them just to see like just to have a little frame of reference for when I pop this up up and listen to it and let me tell you those sound amazing and they're phenomenal hands down no, no, no questions asked amazing best you can hear it until I heard this and this is better um and it's not just like the hype and it's not any of that it is legitimately when i when i drop the needle on it for the first time i have never heard my system sound that good ever i've never heard those songs sound that good ever and for it to be a collision of like the songs that i love and that incredible sound quality it just completely blew my mind and so like uh, you know, I got, when I got this, you know, I had the debate of I could sell it, you know, I, I, I do have a shop and all this stuff and it's something that's worth a lot of money and I could sell it. But after I listened to it, I was like, I would sell anything before I sell it. I would sell all my records before I sold this. This is like, it's, this is tip top for me. Like, you know, uh, it's worth having because, you know, I've got 
this great system that I've spent so much time and money assembling over the years. All right, guys, you you guys are probably going to ask me what my setup's looking like. Uh, this is it. This is my Basis Audio 2000 turntable. So this is basically a turntable that you can modify however you want. You buy it as a shell, and then you buy each part, whichever one you prefer. So you can really customize it. Um, this one is uh it's got a vector tone arm it's got a benz sm cartridge it's a little dusty needs a dusting uh but anyway so you buy your own motor tone arm you know obviously cartridge and everything to build it to your own specifications it's got these killer feet on it as well um i'm running that with this is a macintosh 6500 um that's a sutherland phono preamp and this is my macintosh 275 vacuum tube amp uh, this is a power amplifier, and it is absolutely killer. For my speakers, I've got these bad boys. This is my, my clips horns. I love them. Finally got a good room that they can breathe in. Um, but these are uh, beasts. Love them so much. To have my favorite band, the best you could possibly hear it, you know, that's that's mega for me. So, um, it, it, you know, it, it's hard to say, is it worth it? Um, you know, I think that you would have to have a really good system to, to really be able to hear the difference that much from the classic records pressings. You know, if you, if you have like just a regular system, that's, you know, good, but whatever, uh, I think, I think you probably would need uh, a pretty fancy one to do it justice. But if you have a really good system, um, I think that if you have a good system and the means to get it and you love Led Zeppelin as much as I do, I think that you should. So um big shout out to uh the guy that that sold me this he gave me a really good deal on it um and i really appreciate that you know who you are i don't know if you want your name shared but you know who you are and um yeah really appreciative of him uh, for working with me and uh he he mailed the thing so when he got the set he said he pulled it out put on cashmere listen to cashmere put the cashmere back in the sleeve put it back in the original shipping box, put it in his closet, and didn't take it out since 2007. So that's as near mint as you could probably get. So um, everything's good on them. I have heard stories of some of the records being cupped. None of these are cupped. They're all flawless, perfect, playing copies. So anyways, all that to say, um, yeah, I probably will never listen to any of my other Zeppelin records again as far as like the studio goes i mean if i'm doing a shootout or comparison or something like that i might and i might pull out my rl every once in a while and play it but um you know as far as any of the other pressings i mean if i really want to hear it this is the one i want to do that's what i'll pull out unless it's you know i want to hear it in the background i might throw something else on but but anyway so um yeah so thank you all for watching this video i hope that this uh this kind of showed you the ins and outs of what uh, one of these box sets looks like Yes, it is overkill. That's the freaking point. Uh, yes, it's too much. That's the point. The, to, the, I'm going to let myself go all out on this because it's my favorite band and why not? So, uh, thank you all for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button and post in the comments. Tell me what you think. If I'm a psychopath, tell, let me know I'm a psychopath. If, if you're excited about it, if, if you think I'm an idiot, just tell me. I want to know. Keep tabs on you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.